Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, and we have something exciting. So, with the latest release of Picks and Sight issued March 1st, they now have a gradient correction tool included with it. How does it work? Um, how well does it work? How does it compare to Gradient Expert? Um, we're going to find out in this video. Uh, it's going to be a short video, it's going to be a quick video, but uh, let's get to it. So we'll head over to my Picks and Sight and we'll uh, have a look at the new Gradient Correction tool that Picks and Sight has included. And uh, we'll also do a comparison with uh, Gradient Expert as well. Okay, so here we are in Picks and Sight. And uh, as I mentioned, you have to have the latest version of Picks and Sight uh, issued, released uh, March 1st. And uh, so download that if you don't have it already and install it. And then you will find under process, all processes, you will find gradient correction. Now the gradient correction tool, uh, Pixinsight did uh, themselves some videos that talk a little in depth about the, uh, the, uh, the tool itself. So you're welcome to check those out. This is just gonna be a quick video just to show you uh, its capabilities and do a little comparison. Uh, with uh, Gradient Expert as well. Um, I found uh, leaving automatic convergence on is uh, really uh, helpful. Uh, it works a little, it, I, I, I find I get a little better result doing that, so uh, definitely leave that on. As for the rest of it, we're going to leave default settings and we're going to leave default settings for uh, Gradient Expert as well. So let's just uh, apply it. It's as simple as that. We're just going to apply it. We don't have to uh, put any sample points on it or anything like uh, dynamic background extraction. And uh, it'll go through a few iterations before it arrives at a solution to remove the uh, gradient from the uh, background. And uh, it is working on number three right now, iteration number three. We'll probably see about four or five iterations, I would imagine, before it arrives at a solution. So we're on number four. And it uh, looks like we're, yeah, we're at four. So we had four iterations. So there we go. We've got final result with the gradient correction tool. Now, I'm going to go back one step here. And I'm going to just make a duplicate of this. Because I want to look at gradient expert as well. I'm just going to back this down. It makes the gradient a little easier to see. So in this image here, so this is the corrected with the gradient correction tool, the new tool in PixInsight, this one here. This image here on the right is going to be our gradient expert image. And we're going to go to script, toolbox, and we're just going to leave it on the defaults here. It's set, for example, one clone, which is our gradient expert image here on the right. And we'll just click the green check mark and let it go to work. And there it is completed. So we have the gradient expert background extraction completed on the right image. And on the left is the new gradient correction tool in PixInsight. Uh, they both did a great job. Uh, this image here, the uh, gradient correction uh, image, uh, looks the background looks a little darker on it than, uh, than the gradient expert uh, left it. But... In terms of the gradient removal, um, it's done. both have done an excellent job in removing the gradient. So let's move on to the second example for this video. And I chose this one primarily because it's older data from 2017. And it suffers a lot from color gradients, which makes it very challenging for a background extraction. So I think this is a good example. So let me just, uh, here I'll make a clone of this right now just to save myself some time. Um, I'm going to... Let's back that down, and this one here is set. I'll just back it down as well. Okay, so let's see how well the gradient correction tool does. So process, all processes, and gradient correction. Again, we're leaving it at default, and we're just going to apply it to the image. What I'm really interested in is the color gradient occurring over here in the right corner, um, as well as up here throughout the image, really. There's, there's a lot of color gradients happening throughout the image. Um, but uh, I'm really interested to see how well it deals with that. It's a very obvious uh, gradient that's uh, happening over here in the corner. So uh, let's see what uh, the gradient correction tool does, how well it works. Okay, so there it is. 
Uh, not bad, not bad. I don't think it uh, fully corrected here. Now that uh, could be adjustable if we uh, wanted to play around with the uh, the settings. It could uh, possibly. This, I just want to make it quick and just give you guys a little heads up that this new gradient correction tool is part of PixInsight now. Um, okay, so here's the gradient correction image. It did a good job. It removed the color gradient. Uh, let's try the gradient expert and uh, we'll just go to script, uh, we'll go to uh, toolbox, and we're going to go to Graxpert. Now, I am going to turn on the background model because I, I want to show I want to show the background model because I want to show the color gradient that's being removed. Uh, I think it's, it's really good to see that. So let's just run it on our image and we'll let it do its uh, analysis and modeling of the gradient in the background. If you're liking this video please uh, feel free to like and subscribe as well while you're uh, waiting. Okay so this is the uh, gradient, color gradients that it's removed from the image so quite, uh, quite extensive. Let's just have a look at it here. Uh, I don't have a lot of screen real estate on this monitor, but uh, we'll do this so we can see the two images here. Okay, so now if we look here, this uh, part of the gradient that I was concerned about, um, it looks like the Graxpert did a better job in removing it. Uh, gradient Expert, I should say, uh, did a better job of removing it. Um, I'm going to say though that I think the um, gradient correction tool did a better job of not stripping out nebulosity from the image. Uh, the gradient uh, expert, gradient expert uh, uh, seems to have uh, stripped out some of the color information for the, uh, the, uh, the nebulosity that exists in the, in the, uh, in the image as well. Now, uh, this is using the AI modeling, uh, which isn't necessarily perfect, so we got to take that with a grain of salt. Um, if you wanted to use a manual uh, method in uh, Graxpert and Gradient Expert, um, that certainly uh, might produce a, a very different result. But I just wanted to compare the two automatic gradient removal tools and uh, see which one uh, works the best. I think what you'll find is that you'll probably want to do a comparison with your data set and uh, give uh, both a try and see which one produces the best result for you and then move on from there in your image processing. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks very much for tuning in, really appreciate it. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the uh, channel grow and uh, it makes me feel good too, which is uh, always a good thing. Uh, nothing worse than grumpy, Sean. Uh, so anyways, uh, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Take care and clear skies.